Now, as you guys know, I run a series on my channel called Can I Beat the Retro Poll App? And in the previous episode, I received a comment which was to try and beat the final V10 pole position lap. And I thought that was a really good idea. So I've done a bit of research and it turns out to be the 2005 Chinese Grand Prix, which fittingly is returning this weekend for the first time in five years. So I thought we'd kind of kill two birds with one stone and do a bit of a, a welcome back to Shanghai for the Chinese Grand Prix, along with also inserting a special episode of Can I Beat the Pole Time Classic Edition, because I usually do these on non-F1 race weekends to kind of bring the two together for the perfect marriage. So today we're gonna try and beat Fernando Alonso's pole lap here, a one minute, 34 dead on the nose. Now, one thing to note, of course, for these cars is fuel load. Back in 2005, they would run tires for the whole race, and of course, they would qualify on their race fuel. So I did a bit of research, and there was a safety car on lap 16, which basically interrupted the first in. So we know Alonso was fueled for at least, let's say, 17 laps. So we're gonna run that as our lowest possible fuel for now. We're on completely default settings. Soft tires on this car come by default, along with also around about 23 laps of fuel. So let's get into it. Six gears, V10, stinging around Shanghai. Let's get to it. Lap number one on the way. Like and subscribe, guys, if you're going to enjoy this video. So turn one, gonna tip it in early to get the nose near the apex, then be patient through two and three using first gear of course traction control so we can absolutely rip it on the exit although we have to be careful still downshift warning there kicking on as we get through turn five first gear once again feels so weird using first gear with an f1 car we're so used to the modern machines with the v6s where you barely go into third gear let alone see second or even first this has been a pretty decent lap though so far as we Head through turn eight, now turn nine. Holding it in second there, out of 10. Close out sector two, down to 11. Oh, that's a bit deep. That's a bit late on the brakes. Lock up on the way through. We're gonna have to try and pull that back on the power as soon as possible here as we head through the banker. Looking forward to seeing that corner back with these current generation F1 cars. And then of course the big one kilometer straight, which has sort of become the normal F1, but at the time this was the first track to have it, and it was extremely unique. Hairpin, down to first, get the apex. Power down beautifully. And now the final corner. Nose in early, second gear there as we run up to the line. 34-0 to beat. 37-0. Already on softs, by the way, so we're gonna straight away tip the fuel out, and we're gonna put some wings on and see if this car improves. We're gonna stick with the tires as they are and we'll see if we find three seconds. Now, attempt number two. I've made a few adjustments. The fuel is exactly on 17 laps. So the car's lighter. Same tires, same pressures. I've also increased the front and rear wing by one and a few adjustments to brake bias and also reducing the traction control. So we can try and get the power on a bit earlier. So let's see how this goes. Attempt number two, final corner, bumping over the curb, slight oversteer, good tyre attempt to start the lap off, let's see as we send it down towards turn one, nice bit of grip, front end biting in pretty decently, turn two getting the apex, turn three as well, making a short shift on this one, the second gear from first to try and find some traction. No downshift warning this time through turn five as we manage it well. I feel like I'm a little bit slow there with corner speed. Let's see what turn seven looks like. Little corrective downshift there, just still have a bit of front wash, a bit of front understeer. Car feels a bit better, but not three seconds better we're gonna find out now this is where the mistake was last time on the anchors a bit earlier 
much tidier. Keeping it in second as well. Ah, that's a big mistake though. I've got a load of understeer there in second gear. I'm off to drop to first for that second one. So that's going to cost us. I'm not even sure if we're going to be up nowhere a tenth down. So to be fair, that's actually not bad. That's a pretty big error. Let's try and pull this together here. Or not. Actually, not bad. We get away with it. We get a bit of relocking to help us drift the car. A la F123. Final corner. Up to the line. Do we improve at all? No, we don't. 37-0. Matched. Okay. So, obviously, big mistake there, but I still feel like we can do a bit better with the setup. So, we're going to kind of put it all together with an improved car package and see what we do on attempt three. Now, this car is already pretty aggressively on the front end. But I've put more front wing on, kept the rear wing the same. I've also messed around with the diff to try and get a bit more rotation. And I've also gone back up on traction control. So... Let's see how it goes. Let's try and match or slightly improve what we did before and then clean up the mistake to have a better overall lap. Final corner. Just making sure we keep it nice and tidy as we start the lap off. Here we go. Attempt three. Let's try and carry some big speed now. Slowly down to the apex at turn two. Beautiful. Let's try and stay tight here for a change. Good. Good exit. Good traction in first. Bit of a wider line through five to try and get the power down earlier on exit. That's very good. Very happy with that. I'm going to go a bit earlier into the long left. I can see a bit of green, so we're up in the first sector. Hold it through eight. Here we go. Through nine. In second gear, let the car rev out, use that traction control. Oh, that was super late on the brakes, that was beautiful. Change of direction, much better in first, there we go, car staying with me. Right, this has been a pretty decent lap. Let's see, need to be a couple of seconds up here. 1.2, okay, there's a bit more time in sector 3, let's try and give everything here, come on. Nicely done, bit of rear instability, but we kept it under control. Could have probably broke a bit later. Final corner. Bit of a drift on the way through, but we make it work. Up to the line. Here we go. 35-5. Okay, so we halved the deficit. 1.5 away still. Hmm, I wonder what I can do. I've made a big, big risky adjustment on the diff. So... The car's going to rotate like crazy, but it might give us a time when you have gone down on the wing to have a bit more straight line speed. A few adjustments to toe, camber, ride height, getting quite technical now, but the big one is a diff. I've gone aggressive. If we can keep under control and maintain decent speed, this could be a decent combo. Here we go. Not a great last corner, went a bit deep, but anyway, let's try and make up for it in the corners. Full send. Just got to be careful here with the car and also be steady with the downshifts. Already starting to drift a little bit as we wash out a bit wide. Look at that change of direction. Turn five. Didn't get all the apex, but it'll do. We're down in the first sector. Four tenths down. This ain't the one. I think these adjustments are a bit too aggressive. I could probably cut that a bit more to be fair. That was uh, quite a nice cut. Match the final. Lost time with the hairpin, but that final corner was pretty decent. So, something learned, but we need to go back to the drawing board. Right, nothing more to say. Let's just go for it. We stripped the car back to basics. Made a few simple adjustments. Just want to see if this works. Here we go. A little bit wide there. Lock up on the hairpin. I'll try and turn in early here. Down again though in the first sector. Bit of a lock up again there, a little bit wide. Trying to get down to the low part of the banker. Back end fights a little bit. Let's see, second split, what we're we looking at here. 
Down by two tenths. Okay, we might be at the limit, to be fair. That might be the maximum. Nope. I think we've reached the limit. I'll try a few more times, but I reckon that might be all she wrote. I was on a slightly better lap. I was a tenth up. Let's see if we even improve again. Okay, so a bit better. Found a little something there with the setup. We'll keep trying. I think if I get into the 34s, that might be the best I can hope for. Oh, tenth and a bit up in the first sector. That might be it. I, I don't know if there's much more in that. That felt really good. Really, really good. Um, I did go back to back, which gave me a bit better tire temperature, but I think that might be it. That's the one. I think that's the one. And that was a single flyer, no back-to-back. -back. Made some small, some small adjustments, and we found something in the end, but we've done a good chunk of laps, even the ones that haven't registered, and we fall, fall short by seven tenths, which isn't too bad.
Now we're going to break down the entirety of the setup and explain what I kind of came up with to make this work. So gearbox as follows, a very long first gear and also running a generally short final gear ratio. Soft tyres and then maximum pressures on all four. Fuel was set to 70 litres which in the end was actually 16.8 so just under 17 laps but hey ho around 17 laps estimation. Electronics uh, traction control set to 1 which is the optimal setting. Aero maximum front wing minus one click and rear wing on maximum. That was the key, going very high on wing, that gave us a bit of lap time in the middle sector, which is what I was trying to look for. And because of the gearbox, I was able to make up for it and not suffer in the straights too much. Uh, alignment, I brought the camber, the toe on both front and rear, way more into the negatives, all of them. Dampers, I kept default, and then drivetrain, I did fill around with this, and in the end I worked for 15, 25, 25, so a bit of rotation, but also keeping some car balance. Brake bias, the big one was brake, um, brake power I put it down to 90 which was maximum but I just could not stop locking and it was giving me no confidence under braking 56 was the lowest I could go in terms of front end rear end bias minimum front ride height maximum rear ride height which is pretty insane but worked pretty well and uh, yeah springs default so that's my lot I could probably spend hours messing around with this and I could probably do a better first sector but ultimately I'll take it. I don't think we're going to be at 34-0. So there we go, guys. Can you beat my lap? Let me know down below in the comments. Track and car will be linked as always. So give it a shot if you have a Seto Corsa. Welcome back to the Chinese Grand Prix Shanghai. Hopefully it's a fun race this weekend. Sprint race. Going to be chaos. Going to be a lot of fun. And yeah, cheers for watching, guys. As always, a big shout out to the channel members for supporting the channel and the content. As always, check out the two videos on screen if you haven't seen them already. And yeah, guys, cheers for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.